It's non-porous, which is great for the alcohol we eat because it doesn't soak in. It flows really well. I'm going to put some down here. Let it dry a little bit. It shouldn't take long because we have air blowing. No, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it dries kind of in an odd shape. If it does that, I'll just use one of these little tools to kind of spread it around some. Then it kind of blooms out again and smooths out. I'm using my little ranger blower. Yeah, you didn't put any solution down first, did you? Not the, yet. Okay, good. Okay. No, I just put down the ink and letting it dry. I love this is one of my favorite colors. It's I think it's getting pretty dry. You can see when it dries, it starts to. You know, it's super shiny, then starts to mm -hmm. kind of get more um, matte. Okay. And I'm going to use blending solution. This is when I use my blending solution to blow out the petals. It's going to be like a big flower in the center. That'll be pretty. So I'm going to put this along the edge of that color, let it pick up the color, and oh. then blow out the petals. And you can pick up as much of that color or as little as you want to. The further you go into it, the more color you're going to pick up. So I just pick up a little tiny bit along the edge. So a lot of times I do that first. And then I might go around with, you know, a second round and pick up more color. I'm just so used to when I'm doing it, just doing, throwing uh, the color on there yeah, and spreading it around, which yeah. is beautiful too. You, but it is, yeah. I don't think it matters what you do with it. So no, but to do the pictures, like looking at it, I'm like, I'm gonna do more of that. <laughs> so, do you like the regular inks or the pearls? What do you like best? I like them both. Yeah, um, I do too. Yeah, I can't pick a favorite. That's like picking a favorite child, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my husband said you really can do that. So. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you really do have a favorite. You don't tell. I'm like, well, that's not true. <laughs> don't tell my secrets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I like to go all the way around, and then I decide, you know, if I want to put more petals in there. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the things. One mistake that I see people make early on when they first start using, they don't use enough blending solution. Yeah. And so you start to get these little thin lines that come out. Yeah. So if you just use more, you can get it to come out really smooth like this. <laughs> and I always keep blowing until it's completely dry because if you don't you can get some kind of odd shapes that form there and if it doesn't look you know perfect around the edges you can crop that off or so trim it down trim it down put it behind a mat there you go Maybe yeah. like some... Thank you. good morning just a reminder the first session of demo alley begins at 10 a.m. this morning in just five minutes demo alley I just keep adding petals until I feel like I've got enough color out there. Sometimes I'll just do one round, other times I'll come back in and add petals between petals and just pull more color out. You can keep pulling that color out as long as you want to. Do you use the little tool? Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I also bought like a it's supposed to be a hair dryer curling iron thing just to kind of blow, but for me it moves a little quickly. I just know uh -huh. some of my viewers prefer because they're hands. But. Yeah, yeah. Well, and if you you don't really have to give us a ton of air. Yeah. Because I hear people complain about their hand gets really tired, yeah. but you can just give it small little just pumps of air and it's mm -hmm. enough to, to move the ink. So just a little bit. Hi. 
these colors so pretty there. Even just one, that's just one color and that's just one drop. Mm -hmm. and maybe two or three little drops of ink. And you can get this entire painting just from a little bit of ink. That's how yeah. far it goes. So that's probably where I would stop with that. And then I would just go in and create a center in there. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. I'm going to use snow caps. I don't want to hang around for this part, but I'm going to. So, okay. Because you're doing this part, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. Is that what that little tool is? Oh, you got your little pan. Snow cap. You know, this is, have you used this? It's a mix of them. That one I don't have. I use this in 99% of my paintings. I love this yeah, stuff. Okay. I use it in my centers. That's what the white is there. So it's more opaque than okay. regular alcohol ink because it's a mix of it. So you use it along with you know your other inks. But you can also mix it in. You know, I could do, um, I'll show you another one if you have time in a minute after I do this. But I'm just going in and just dotting in some of this to create the center. I don't want to fill in the entire thing because I want some of that color to show through and mm -hmm. create some depth in there. Mm -hmm. So I make it brighter, you know, along this top area. And then I come down some and just make my dots a little bit smaller and further apart as I come down. That's kind of what creates that depth. And sometimes it takes, you know, a few layers to get it to really pop. I was going to say layers. Layers. Layers, yeah. The way to do it. And this will, a lot of times, soak into the background a lot. It's really showing up well on this one, I think. But um, sometimes it kind of some almost, of that background color yeah, it disappears a little bit in the background, so you have to go over it again just to brighten it up in certain areas. So I think it's starting to have a little dimension. Yeah, it is. Thank you so much. You're welcome.